guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. I am Andy and today I'm going to do another hair dye video. Now our first one did really, really well. I actually wasn't expecting it to be as popular as it was, but it was our first video to reach 300 views. It's almost to 400 views now. So I'm really excited to do this one because this one is gonna be done with Arctic Fox, which is what I mentioned in that first video that I really liked to use. Now, that being said, this is my hair right now. I think we filmed, I was trying to think about it, I think we filmed that video about a month ago. It's been probably just under four weeks since I've dyed it. And actually my hair doesn't look bad. It's a little brown towards the end instead of red, but it actually held up a lot better than I was expecting it to. So I was extremely impressed with this particular color formula in the L'Oreal Feria collection. I thought it was definitely worth the money. I don't think when you're dyeing your hair, especially a, a vibrant color, every month to update it is that bad or that unreasonable. So overall, I would say it was worth like the $9.99 that I wound up paying for that. So now I um, I have to do this video now. I have to. It's, nothing's forcing me to. But I wanted to do this video now because next week I'll be out of town with my parents uh, at the beach. And then I'll be back for a week and then we leave for Disney. So. I wanted to have my hair updated and probably good to go to get me through Disney just based on how long the Arctic Fox uh, lasted for my violet when I used it for that color. I'm expecting it to probably hold all the way through Disney and maybe even a little bit longer. So I'm really excited. But the color I've chosen to do today is Wrath. Um, it is honestly, it's not the red color I was hoping to do from their collection. I wanted to do, I think it's called Ritual, which is like her deep, deep, it's almost like this color, deep, deep, deep. Um, uh, dark auburn red but I do have like a little bowl a little brush my pick comb my handy dandy hairbrush for coloring and then I have a shower cap because they actually for this recommend that you cover your hair with plastic and maybe even blow dry it to absorb that color I took a sneak peek at the color because I was very curious I don't know oh I'm also not using gloves again you think I changed from last time you're wrong it's only been a month and it only stayed in my hands for like a day. So really it was just worth it. This is the red color. It is very red. Um, it's like I've got like a towel on the table and it's like the same color red. That is why I wanted to do the Feria first because I wanted to dye my hair a dark, dark, dark color before I did this vibrant red because I really am trying to keep it the same type tone. I really was happy with how the color from the Feria worked. So we'll see what winds up happening. So I did kind of like do, I don't think I'm going to do too much on my roots. This is the first time I've not, oh wow. Oh, that smells so good. I don't know if you guys remember it, but because I was a 90s baby, this smells like those L'Oreal like no tears. I had this blue one that my mom used to pack in our swim bags when we were taking swimming lessons, like for us to shower with. And it smells exactly like that. It's delicious. It's giving me like major childhood flashback nostalgia. But that's, I don't know if you guys can see it in the bowl, that's the color. It kind of comes out in this really nice thick paste, which you guys remember from my L'Oreal Feria video. That was not the case. It literally splattered all over me and looked like blood. So I am kind of actually excited about, I forgot how nice the texture is for this. And I'm just gonna go in where I parted my hair. Like I said, I'm not too concerned with the roots because the roots are still really, really dark because my natural hair color is dark brown. So I'm just gonna kind of go in and come down. I do have to say too, last time I used the Arctic Fox instead of the L'Oreal, the violet one, I probably still have a good like two full hair dyes left in the bottle. I think I only used like, I mean, you saw how little I poured into the little bowl right here and I've gotten a good amount of my hair covered already and I still have le more left from that first little squirt in the bowl. So I'm thinking I'm probably gonna be able to get about three full hair dyes 
out of each bottle, which is, I mean, when you think about, I spent $30 on three bottles and each one's probably going to give me, that's like, if I have to dye my hair every month, that's nine months worth of stuff. That's well worth the money. Okay, so I'm getting to a point now where I really need to be in a big mirror and kind of look and work my, my magic that way magic um so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna off camera finish up um i probably will not show you guys what it looks like but i will show you what i look like with the shower cap because i'm sure you guys all want to really see that so i'll be back in like five minutes and uh, we'll go from there okay so i have it i think fully covered um i'm gonna go ahead and put the shower cap on and i am gonna show you guys i left the i left the blow dryer in the other room but i am gonna show you guys um just how i'm gonna blow dry it really quick this is not the point. Coming in hot. Got it. This is the one car I didn't want. Oh well, that's how life seems to work. But it does have this cute little attachment, so. Oh, here we go. Oop. I also have this adorable little mini hair straightener, which is like the tiniest hair straightener in the world too. See, that's what it looks like. It's also from PYT. And uh, BoxyCharm gave me that one and I have them together because I'm getting ready to go on a trip and I figured they'd be nice to have together, so. This is blow dry up to 15 minutes. I don't think I'm gonna need to do that. Okay guys, so let's address the elephant in the room. I look like I was hit by a dump truck and that's because I dyed my hair two days ago. We did not finish the video that day. Nikki had to go to work, so I got out of the shower. Um, we ate something really quick and then by the time he had left, my hair was still a little bit wet and drying. So I dried it and to be 100% honest, I was a little upset with the color at first and it's nothing to do with the formula or anything. It was more if I had done this right after I had my violet hair, I probably would have liked it a lot more, but I really loved that really deep, dark, almost black red. And so coming into this, which is very, very vibrant, I was just kind of caught off guard. I've adjusted to it. Now that I've had it for a couple of days, I actually do really like it. Um, I'm glad I waited to film the response because I was kind of upset the day that it happened just because I was like, oh my gosh, like I thought about going and buying black hair dye to mix with it and like kind of try and darken it up a little bit. I did not do that. Um, so this is what it looks like. This is the finished product. It's been um, two days since we filmed that. I believe that was Thursday. and Yeah, today's Saturday, so it's been two days. I haven't showered since then. Um, so this is the hair color, like, in its full vibrancy. I will say I woke up this morning and I had, like, this giant red, like, spiderweb-looking thing coming down my neck. And it was the hair dye. And I like, it wiped off easily. It, I used one of my ST wipes, it wiped right off. But I was just like, that's a little strange because the violet never did that. So, um, but overall, I, I really support Arctic Fox. I love their product. I love them as a company. So I, um, I'm happy with it. I think before I dye my hair again, I'm probably going to get the black shade and mix it with it next time to hopefully kind of recreate that really pretty dark red that I got from the L'Oreal uh, Feria. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you guys, if you have any tips or anything or any hair color suggestions or anything like that, I would love to hear from you guys. Um, as always, I hope you stay girly, but with a dark twist. <laughs>